Okay, uh, first thing I want to give uh, Virginia Tech, Coach Fuentes and his staff credit for uh, making plays, play, making enough plays to win a game tonight. You know, so give them the credit. Uh, they made the plays when they had to, and uh, they got it done. Uh, I am extremely proud of our team and, and the way our guys prepared all week. I'm, I'm proud of the way they came out and played. They played hard. Uh, they were physical in everything we did. Uh, they were, uh, you know, they, they believed in each other, and we just, uh, you know, we just didn't make enough plays to uh, to win a football game, you know, and, and uh, we had a lot of opportunities, a lot of opportunities, and there were a lot of really good things on the field today, and uh, but we uh, we just didn't get it done. Nine times you got inside there, 26 came away with just one touchdown. How frustrating is that for you? It's frustrating, very frustrating. You have any, I know there's a myriad of different reasons why that happened. Any any single explanation or two? I don't have a uh, you know single explanation other than we've got to when we get down in the red zone we've got you know you've got to uh, you got to smell the end zone and you got to want to get there in the worst way and you got to find a way to get it done. You've talked a lot about the need to finish uh, this off season. What's the key to kind of getting over that hurdle? Well, it's really. Uh, Paying attention to detail, it's uh, the little things that you do every single day. It's it's you know conquering that first challenge when you get when your alarm goes off in the morning and getting out of bed instead of hitting the snooze. It's uh, making sure your class on time. It's making sure you're uh, turning in your paper when it's supposed to be turned in. It's it's making sure you're where you're supposed to be when you need to be there. And you're you're doing all the things off the field and on the field. When you do all those things together, then great things happen. And so, but I will say this, you know, we got a lot of guys that, that truly believe in everything that we're doing. They believe in each other and they're doing things. They're doing the things that we ask them to do. And we will get there. We'll get there. It just takes one guy making one play in this game, and it's a different ball game. And we're, we come in here and we're, we're, we're happy. But uh, we didn't make that play tonight. So. What, was, what was your evaluation of Fork's performance in the first half? Will he be available going forward? What's his, his status? I don't know what his status is. Uh, but I thought the kid came in and did some really good things in the game. There were probably a couple of throws that he would have liked to have had back. Uh, but uh, there, he, made some, he made some really good throws also. You know, we, we dropped one for a touchdown uh, that, uh, I mean, you know, there's, there's a, lot of get, a, lot of, a lot of plays in this game I could point out that, uh, that we didn't make, you know, but I thought he did a good job. I thought he was, uh, he was, he was very poised. There were not too many times where I thought he was uh, worried about the rush. Uh, I thought he uh, really did a good job of taking care of the football when he threw the ball and, and uh, took the ball where it was supposed to go. At what point in practice this season did you begin to see that poise from a true freshman who didn't even play much in his senior season in high school? Yeah, it's been a long time since he's been out on the field. I, I, I would say the first time I really saw it was when he came in in that uh, East Carolina game. And he was not rattled by anything. He uh, understood the situation and where we were at and what he needed to do in the game. And uh, he's been you know, he's been pretty level-headed throughout everything that we've thrown at him. And I mean, even if we've rattled him, he, he's uh, been pretty level-headed about it. I mean, and so I think he's handled himself well. What does it say about Nathan Elliott that you know, he was out of the lineup and pressed to come back in and play the way he did in the second half. Yeah, that, that guy is a, uh, I mean, when you when you say what a team player is, that's what Nathan Elliott is. I mean, he, he, he deeply cares about what's best for the football team and doing anything that he can, whatever his role is, to help this team be successful. There was no doubt in my mind that I knew he would prepare himself as if he was the starter. You know, and Casey was called on. He went out there and, and uh, he, he did a heck of a job. He did a heck of a job. Yeah, there were a couple throws he'd like to have back. You know, but that's the game of football. You know, it's, that's the way it works. And uh, we just got to, you know, we got we to gotta do a better job of rallying around those guys. If, if um, Cade is available, do you think he did enough to solidify that starting position? At uh, I have to evaluate the uh, film and, and I'll tell you something better next week. I still probably won't tell you if he's going or not who's going, <laughs> but I'll, I'll tell you something. Did your defense get worn down on that last drive? I thought our defense, I thought they played tremendous throughout the entire game. I mean, I thought they played well in the last drive. You know, I mean, uh, you got to give that quarterback 
some credit now. I mean, he made he made some plays. I mean, that fourth and whatever it was, fourth and five, fourth and six. I mean, uh, we had him back there, and uh, he got out of it somehow. He he made a he found a way to make a play, and that's what I'm talking about. In a game like this, you got to find a way to make a play. You got to make a play, and and uh, heck, he had what was he over 100 yards rushing, and uh, before you take the sacks out and threw for 200 whatever it was. I mean, he. he did a heck of a job. But I thought our defense, I thought they played extremely well. I thought they played extremely well from the beginning of the game all the way through the end. What was the what was the key to that in your mind? Well, I think the uh, I think the coaches did a nice job. I thought the uh, game plan was really good. I thought our guys understood it well, and so they could they could play fast and uh, they could they could be physical, and that's what they did tonight. Having Malik. And Aaron and Tamon out there the same night together uh, kind of make you think about what could have been previously. Well, it's the first time we've uh, we've had those guys out there together, you know. So it was it was nice to have those guys out there. Yeah. Larry, Mike Carter had 165 yards career high. How do you approach that with him? With you factor in the fumble there at the end to kind of balance out the good and the bad. Uh. I mean, we're gonna when we go in, we'll, we treat it the same way we do everything. I mean, we go into that that meeting tomorrow. We're gonna point out every dang good thing he did in that game, and then we're gonna point out anything that was bad in the game. I mean, we we you know I've said this before. Our guys know when they come over here, we tell them the truth. We're gonna be honest with them always, and uh, he knows. I mean, Michael Carter knows better than anybody right now, you know. And I guarantee you that guy's hurt. He's hurt. And, uh, but I, there's no doubt in my mind that Michael Carter will bounce back. All right? he, he's going to work as hard as he does every single day because he can't work any harder. I mean, he, he can't give you more than he gives. He, he works his butt off. And uh, he'll, he'll, he'll be all right. He'll learn from it. And he'll be a better running back because of it. You know? and, and we'll be a better team because of it. When did you tell Cade that he would start today and how much time he did? think he needed to mentally ready himself for his start? I mean, we, you know, earlier in the week, uh, you know, he started getting the majority of the reps with the ones, you know, and so I'm sure he had a, a feel for it, and uh, so did Nate, but uh, I guess it was Thursday when we when we made the final decision. What have the what emotions been like for you uh, in particular? My emotions? Yeah. I mean, you look I've been happier before, but uh, yeah, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated because we're that far away. We're that far away. We're, 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 we're so close, and I want it for these guys because if you, if you watch them practice and you watch what they do in the meeting room and what you watch how much they care about each other, you know, you, you can't help but want it for them, you know, and we just got to find a way. We, we got to find a way to get over the hump. We got to find a way to... Uh, to get a guy to make a play in a, certain, in a situation. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Uh, no doubt in my mind it's going to happen. Is it frustrating? Yeah, it's frustrating for me. It's frustrating for our staff. It's frustrating for all of our players. You know, I'm no more frustrated than any of them. I mean, uh, and I just I want it bad for them. I really do. I want them, And I, I just want to make sure they know how close they are. All right, thank you, Coach. Thanks,